Hi guys, welcome back. In a recent budgeting video, I asked whether you would be interested in some sustainable swaps and it got such a positive response. So I'm really, really pleased that you are interested in this kind of thing and that you want to get some inspiration perhaps. I am going to be sharing loads of sustainable swaps. I've just been trying to gather as many as possible, which is why it's taken me a little while to make sure that I get everything ready for this video. I have got a couple of gifted items within the guide to be able to use for the purpose of this video to show you how you can swap it out for sustainable products. Products. I would absolutely love it if you wanted to get involved in the comments below and let me know your sustainable swaps because I know everyone looks in the comments and reads them as well so it's really really helpful for you guys to share them so I'd really appreciate that. I have got a huge way to go I'm not gonna you know hands up I'm not gonna say that I am my absolute optimum sustainable person however I do think just little steps here and there from each of us can make such a huge impact to the planet and the environment I'm learning on the job as it were but I'm just so much more in tune with it these days obviously since we've been vegan this year I think we're just looking a lot into more kind of welfare and sustainability and stuff like that so obviously there are the kind of standard ones take your water bottle with you taking your refillable cup with you to the coffee shop because you know they're kind of quite standard, quite obvious ones, but hopefully you're gonna get some extra ones from this video. And if you did and you found it helpful, then why not share it with someone that you think might enjoy it or might find it useful. And of course, if you are new here, I'd really love to have you as part of this community. I upload three times a week, everything from budgeting, sustainability, thrifting, uh, charity, thrift flips, all kind of things like that. So I'd really, really love to have you here. But let's get into the video. So the first item I'm gonna show you Obviously, if we're all having a period every month, or most of us having a period every month, the tampon wastage is absolutely insane. So, I've come across a brand called Dame, and they actually have a reusable tampon. So, the applicator's reusable, sorry, not the actual tampon. And it comes in a box like this, which is really cool, and a nice little pouch as well. And uh, basically, you just pop in your tampon. They actually do sell the eco-friendly tampons as well which are all um no nasty chemicals no bleach pure cotton all that kind of stuff basically you just pop it in that's the lid and then you just pop it in and then as per a normal tampon you just do that <laughs> but they're reusable so you just wash it afterwards pop it back in the little case and then store it when you're not using it and i just think it's so helpful to the environment to think of these things and that is something I had no idea existed so that is a really good place to start if we all did this imagine how much less waste of plastic there would be creating methane gases and awful things in our landfill oh, it would just be amazing so that's the first thing I want to tell you about the second thing I wanted to mention was to eat local and to eat in season as well because things like strawberries i've been seeing in the shops a lot in the last month or so i'm like it's january february why are there strawberries in the shops they have been flown over from like somewhere far away they're white at the top they don't look good they're not in season so just try and think about the kind of vegetables that are in season each month and then buy it locally if you can from a farmer's market from a local farm shop or you know even if it's just from the supermarket just try and buy things out in season and haven't been flown thousands of miles to get here. The next thing is to wash your clothes in cold water. This helps the environment because it's less electricity. It also saves you money. You know, I like to save money, guys. And it just means that your clothes won't ruin as quickly because of the heat. The next one is to buy glassed bottled condiments like ketchup or mustard or brown sauce because you can then reuse them. You can wash them out and refill them or reuse them. A lot of the plastic condiment packaging isn't actually recyclable. The next one, again with washing, is to use a different kind of laundry detergent. I would recommend using the Eco Egg, which is a, a unit which you just chuck in the wash. It hasn't got harsh chemicals and you can reuse it over and over again. It actually lasts for hundreds of washes. I've done a whole video on it, as you can see, so I'll leave that linked in the description if you missed it. It's just a different way to wash your clothes, but they come out the same, uh, but you're not using all those chemicals and tipping them down the waterways. The next thing that I'm really excited to show you because it's absolutely stunning is from a company called Rechic, and they use upcycled and recycled items to make furniture. And you guys know I love a little bit of a uh, upcycle and a DIY on my channel. They actually use plastic bottles to create cushions how is that possible like these 
actually made out of plastic bottles, absolutely insane. And they also have a pledge to reduce child labour, which I think is amazing. But the best thing about it is I just think it's really stylish as well as being really, really good for the environment. Using plastic bottles to create a rug, I mean, how is that possible? But it looks amazing and they just have a really great eco-friendly brand and I will leave them linked down in the description bar as well for you. Okay, the next thing is obviously we're doing a vegan diet at the moment, but potentially anyone could just change up their milk and really impact the environment by doing so. Oat milk is best for the planet because of the way that it's produced. Almond milk, I think, is the worst alternative to um, dairy in the way that it's produced. However, you know, it's better than having dairy, I guess, because of the methane um, ramifications from the cows and the waste that the cows produce and like yada, yada, yada. Uh, but oat milk, uh, the best one I found because I was struggling when we first went vegan, I was like, this is so hard. The best one I found is the Oatly Hole because I found it, it was just so much nicer in tea. That was the main thing I was struggling with in tea. So yeah, check that one if you haven't tried it already. My next one is for skincare. You guys know I love skincare. I've found a brand which is called Evolve and they do vegan, organic skincare, which is incredible i want to show you this one this is a gentle cleansing melt this reminds me of the oskia renaissance mask it's much more affordable and it's 100 percent natural 98 percent organic and it's even the way that it's produced they have a wind turbine which powers their factory which it smells incredible you get absolutely tons i've been using it for weeks and i've barely touched the surface it goes so far um i've also got a few other favorites that i've been trying out which is this Rainforest Rescue Blemish Serum. Uh, this has got things like um, organic acai, papaya, and willow bark. Again, I can't even say these things, but they come in this gorgeous packaging. I think it's really uh, like fancy packaging. I love like the apothecary style. This is a serum. And they, I also have a couple of other things which I've really been loving. The Superfood 360 Serum, really, really nice for my skin. And the Daily Renewal Facial Cream. This is for, this has got peptides and hyaluronic acid for plumping and argon. And the, my favourite is probably this and the um, Rainforest Blemish. I've been using these and I haven't had any breakouts from them praise be because i suffer loads with my skin so yeah i'll leave uh, i'll leave everything linked down below that i'm mentioning i just feel like these days i'm so much more aware with the skincare that i'm using what i'm putting on my skin i love that they have an eco factory which is powered by the wind i mean that's just so cool the packaging's really lovely it doesn't break me out and they have got so many different items on the website which i'll leave down in the description for you okay the next idea is for instead of putting your food waste into a bin which really is difficult for the environment to break down and it causes different gases put it into a compost bin you can have one that doesn't smell i'll leave a link for one i found on instagram the other day and they said that it doesn't smell so you put it under your fridge cabinet and uh, fridge cabinet who has one of those put it under your sink cabinet or in your garden and it will just degrade all what's the word just mush up all of your food waste and then you can put it on the garden and have beautiful roses this summer and they're so much better for the environment. Okay, the next one, and I'm really excited about this because I've saved so much time and packaging and water, and that is by using the Lush Handmade uh, Bar for my hair and conditioner for my hair and deodorant bar and all these different bars that they do. They are gorgeous and they smell amazing. I never really thought to use a bar for my shampoo, but they save so much water. I think it's five times the amount of water in a bottle is created into one bar and then obviously because most of the bottle is made out of water it's not actually the product and then obviously you've got the packaging for five bottles as well so one little bar that comes like that raw and you can put it in a cork little pot like this is just so much better for the environment and it's lasted me so long so i'm really converted i haven't washed it today but when i wash it yesterday uh, with the bar. It just feels so nice. I really, really love it. I'll leave the one that I've got linked down below and some other products that I've been using. Really like their um, sleepy soap, which the boys use. It's really, really lovely. It's shaped like a cloud. It's lovely. So yeah, just think about changing up your, con even just your shampoo and conditioner, five lots of bottles for one little bar. That's all that water being used, being produced, and the bottle plastic 
just gone. We're just using a bar. So think about that kind of thing as well. I think that's, there's so many options out there these days. I should have mentioned as well with the um, reusable tampon applicator is, um, I can't believe I said reusable tampon. No, definitely don't do that. Is the menstrual cup. I can't get on with them, but obviously they're amazing for the environment because you're just buying one rather than all that plastic. So that's another option if you didn't want to go with that. The next thing is to think about your wrapping paper when you're buying it. Make sure you're not getting the coated wrapping paper because it doesn't get recycled, you can't recycle it. Even just using a newspaper looks pretty cool, especially at Christmas, you could like do a newspaper and then put some holly on it for a bit of green and red. It looked really, really nice. Or eucalyptus in the for a birthday, that would look really cool. And uh, if you don't wanna use newspaper, then just maybe use brown paper or just non-coated paper. Okay, the next one, and you may have seen this in my last um, thrift with me video, is to buy your dry goods or your kitchen liquids you know washing powder and thing like that from a dry store where you can go in and you just take your own container and you refill it i wish we had one near us because i would be all over that they're so amazing for the environment you don't have to keep buying packaged items you can just go in with your own pot and just refill it even if it's oats or uh hand hand shampoo and wash you could just go in and refill it and it just makes such a massive impact on the environment with all the packaging alongside that this goes with food so you can go and buy in bulk from you know costco or somewhere like that where you can actually buy loads of the items with one packaged uh one packaging and then not have to buy loads of different ones uh i feel like quite a few people recently in my grocery haul videos have been saying there's so much packaging and it's so true so buying in bulk means that although it's packaged still you do use less because you're buying just one of it <laughs> okay the next one i want to show you this is from a company called patch and these are plasters now i'd never thought of this how much plastic waste is coming out of plasters every day oh my goodness so they use bamboo which is hyper hypoallergenic and obviously bamboo is a very sustainable uh, material because it grows so quickly and they have different ones for different things so bites and splinters burns and blisters cuts and scratches i love the idea of them and the packaging and all inside my boys would love these because these ones particularly are pandas so that's cute you can see the pattern that they will be on the inside and they're all different as well obviously degrade so much quick quicker and the way they produce is so much better for the environment and I'd never thought about changing up my plasters because I didn't even think hopefully this video is doing the same thing for you and giving you a little bit of a spark to change up some of the things that you're using because I feel like sometimes we just don't question things and it's great to be able to kind of help guide people if they're looking to make sustainable swaps into what's available okay so for my next thing and let me know if you want a DIY video for this is to make your own wraps for food sandwiches things like that using just bits of material these just so happen to be toy story pretty cool if you want a video on how i make those let me know but cling film is just so bad because it just doesn't ever disappear whereas you can make your own food wraps and they're so easy or you can get reusable food wraps uh, for even if you just don't want to bag. The next one is one that I learned whilst I was researching this video is not to throw away pasta water. It's rich in nutrients and you can use it to feed your plants to water them and it will make them grow beautifully and you're also not throwing the water down the drain because it's actually almost as expensive to throw your water away down the drain as it is to run your water because of the wastage. So yeah, try and get your water out into the garden even if it's not just pasta water, bath water, get it outside so that you're not putting it back down the drain. The next one is of course to buy second hand. I feel like I've had this epiphany last year and I really wanted to buy things second hand but I couldn't because obviously I was not buying things. But everything is coming back around. Like I walked around Topshop the other day and I just thought, I feel like I'm back at school, like in the 90s because everything is 90s and that probably makes me sound so old. But literally buy second hand because they're probably still the items that you're gonna buy in the shops but second hand you're helping the environment because you're buying reusing things and also you're saving so much money in the process also if you want to see my videos i'll leave the playlist down for you in the description bar of my come thrift with me another one it's quite an obvious one is to use metal straws they sell them everywhere now with the cleaning kits as well because they are tricky to clean and also silicone lids for food instead of using um 
cling film, like I said, you can use silicone lids. I've actually found a company, I'll try and link them down below, that have those lids as well that you can put onto different size pots. The next one is wipes, face wipes. If Caroline Hirons taught me one thing, it is not to use face wipes. They're so bad for the planet and they're bad for your skin as well. I've used one of these for ages. This is, I, I don't know if this is a new one, but this is a bamboo one. Again, a really nice sustainable material. They're from a brand called Magnetone and basically you use this cloth with just water and it removes all traces of makeup. It's amazing, I've got a pink set and these are actually really soft, these are bamboo. And literally, if you can't be bothered to take your makeup off, rather than using a wipe, just wet this, wipe off your makeup and it's the same as using a wipe without any of the damage to the environment. Well done if you got to the end of this video. I'm gonna leave it there because I'm aware how long it is but I really hope it's given you some inspiration. I will probably do another video on this because as I've been researching I've been coming up with so many more ways but let me know if you're interested in the comments. Let me know if you want me to do another one just so I know or give this video a like and it just gauges exactly how much you liked it. Thank you for watching guys. Sorry it was such a long one but I hope you got something from it and I'll see you all so soon. Bye!